And Justice O'Connor put it this way. She said, suppose we had graduated from law school at a time when there was no discrimination, when women were welcome at the bar. What would we be today? We would be retired partners from some large law firm. But that route wasn't open to us, so we had to find another path, and that path led us to become Supreme Court justices. But there I am, a law school graduate in 1959. Far from thinking about any judgeship, what I want is a job in the law, any job <laughs> in the law. There was no Title VII, no anti-discrimination laws. People were upfront about wanting no lady lawyers. How I got my first job was that I had a professor at Columbia Law School who was in charge of clerkships for Columbia students, and he was determined to get me a job. He called every district judge in the Southern District of New York, every judge of the Second Circuit, and most of them said, well, even if we were ready to consider a woman, she's a mother, and that's just too much. But uh, this great professor, Jerry Gunther, picked a district judge who was a Columbia undergraduate and law school graduate, always took his clerks from Columbia Law School. So Jerry had a carrot. He said, give her a chance. And if she doesn't work out, there's a young man, highly qualified, who's going to a downtown firm and he'll come in and take over. So that was the carrot. There was a stick. The stick was, if you don't give her a chance, I will never recommend another Columbia student to you. So that's how I, I, I never knew this till years later when, when Jerry told me about it. I assumed because the judge had do, two daughters that he was thinking about what the world would be like for them. So you gave him the benefit of the doubt, even if he <laughs> didn't deserve it. <laughs> well, we had to make our own path. You did. And the way Sandra, who was very high in her class at Sanford Law School, um, got her first job. She volunteered to work for free for a county attorney and said, at the end of some months, if you think I'm worth it, you can put me on the payroll. That's what it was like for women of my, of my vintage. Getting that first job was powerfully hard. But if you got the job, you did it usually at least as well as the men. So the second job was not the same hurdle. So when I finished my clerkship, I could have gone to any number of law firms. The story that Justice O'Connor tells about her experience, and she said this to me, well, think, think of what our lives would have been if there had been no discrimination. What would we be? We'd be, be today retired partners from some large law firm. But because we didn't have that route to travel, we had to find another way. Well, that's an example of how something that may seem dreadful, very bad luck, turns out to be the most fortunate thing that ever happened to you. Whatever the road's not taken, one thing is very lucky for all of us that you took the road you did. So thank you. Um, 